Ed and Janet show, and uh, we're here with uh, one of my other favorite Eds, Ed Wittemeyer. I uh, call him Cadillac Ed. A lot of people know him from his Cadillac collection. Uh, also, he used to organize the Remembrance Day celebrations here for many years, so he's well known in the community, and he's also known for growing banana plants, which is why we are here today. So, Ed, we want to hear all about your bananas, how long you've been growing them, and how you do it. That's a good question. How long have I been doing it? I, I don't know. I would say at least 15 years. Yeah. And uh, I've never had to replant them, but they have their own offspring, so if they do die off or if we get a bad winter and I don't cover them properly, uh, then they just seem to come back, and the group that's out there doesn't go as high as uh, Big Ben here. Next to the White House, is that what the deal yeah. is? Yeah. 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 And it's it's got uh, quite the diameter, and you can see that it's got three or four more offspring yeah. again this year. And over here is where the baby one was, or the mother was, last year, and she went right to the very top of the roof. Wow right up to the eaves and I'm hoping that in about two more months this baby will do the same thing because right. I had a gentleman sh show up from Cowichan he drove by and he seen the big one and he said would you sell that and I said no no well he said I have a, 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 a little jungle and a cabin and he said on the trail to my cabin he said I have tropical plants and he said one of these would fit in really nice so I gave him a little one and said, you can practice with that one and maybe, it, maybe it'll, it'll grow like these other ones. So that's how you sell them and propagate them. They just keep, you must have started well, somehow. Really how did you start it though? I just had a couple of pots out there uh, and I put a few in to try it and sure enough. Yeah. It was but how work. did you start? How did you, what, what was the uh, plant? Did you plant a banana? On. Oh no. <laughs> in my previous military career, and I won't dwell too much on that, I've been to some locations where it's nothing but jungles and right. swamps and snakes and alligators and stuff like that. And I love the banana plants and going through the, the uh, terrain. And I've been in uh, places down in Florida and Georgia. And I've been to Australia. And I've been to, uh, well, where was the other jungles that they put me into? But I've been to a few. Yeah. But anyways, that's what caught my eye was the, the, the simplicity of them. Mm -hmm. And the only thing in warning I was told was, you shouldn't plant them uh, where the wind can get at them. Okay. So I did put a couple around the back of the house to try that out. And they didn't grow very big. And I think the problem was because I had a peach tree there. Mm. And it ended up that the branch fell off the peach tree in one of our winter storms. And it broke and the peach tree never did recover. Oh, uh, that happens. So I thought, yeah. well, I don't know if I want to plant too many, many more banana plants there. But yes, I put a few around the yard, and I just got into it. I like the idea of gardening and, and the cars. Yeah. And because of the location, we've been here for 40, 43 years. It, uh, you can look out the window and just watch the world go by. And, and you just like the looks of the banana plant. Do you ever get well, bananas here's the on thing. them? Well, here's the thing. Yeah? This particular plant, when it's mature and if it's well mated or whatever, yeah. is supposed to produce a banana. Right. Those ones, the bigger ones, when they get going around August, just by the time the kids go back to school, right? I do get little plantain bananas off of those. Ah, okay. And I, I don't get many, and I give them to the kids who sit on the bench to take to school for a show and tell. Oh, fun. And they're, they're only about that long, but you can still buy... Uh, uh, Maybe like little bananas. Little bananas in, the, yeah, in, in yeah. thrifties and places like that, but mine are more hardened and, and not soft and not big enough. So right. one of these years... Because I do have a little picket fence that I used to put around there so I could attach Christmas decorations to yes. it and stuff like that. I've seen that. And that would help cut down on the wind a bit. Right. And especially when I put the uh, wrappings around, these wrappings here. Right. I figured it was the best way, instead of digging them up and trying to put them in the house and put them in the backyard and put them all kinds of places, and I didn't want them to die. So you winterize them with pool noodles you've cut in, noodles. Whole, in half. I cut them in half and I place it around. You can see the dirt. I stick them right in below about right. four or five inches below the plant. Yeah. Put them in, wrap it up with the tape. Yeah. I call it gun tape, but it's not. It's that gray tape. Uh, duct tape? Duct tape. That's it's the word. Canadian and if thing. I have to go too high, well, that's fine. Yeah. And uh, the big baby, I usually put some styrofoam around it first. Yeah. 
and then uh, wrap them up, and it really helps that that plant. It's amazing how how tall that thing will go, yeah, and how uh, before it'll start losing its leaves. Yeah, and I think we bumped it by putting that, by putting uh, your gutters, the new gutters in. And right. believe it or not, we got three brand new windows that are coming in this next uh, week. Ah, so that'll disrupt so I'm things have again. To move everything I put together. Yeah. But this just is a, a cheap idea. Got them at the dollar store. Yeah, and it saves the banana plant. Now. Some of the other things that's interesting, if you want to go and take a look at this one over here. Sure. All right. You started your first one, if it was a seed or a plant. They were plants. And where'd you get it? Um, I got some from Costco and I got some online. I ordered them and they came as, as seeds. I'm trying to think of the name of the magazine where I got the idea from. I think it starts with a V, Vanessa or something like that. It's a magazine about flowers and plants. Oh, okay. And I looked it up and it said these will grow bananas and that, so maybe it was a con job, I don't know. But anyways, I ordered them and they came as seeds because it's uh, tricky to transport plants from one province yeah. to the next and stuff like that. So on this particular group, they were definitely seeds that got started. Oh. And on that big one, I don't know, I got some from Costco that were actually about this high when I bought them. And then they don't seem to have a good supply anymore either. And it's hard to find a, a lot of them, and especially if you try to find red leaf bananas. Tell us about this scary right. thing here. This scary it's really thing here was introduced to me as being called the devil's tongue. And it's supposed to keep flies and bugs away from your plants. And it does work. I don't know where I got it from. I think it blew in or somebody planted it for me. <laughs> Because it did have four or five others because it spreads pretty pretty fast. So I, I gave a couple away and I eliminated the other ones. And we just cut the top off of it no more than a week ago because when it blossoms, the, the leaf opens up about this big and a big red portion comes out. And it's an ugly red and it smells, really smells. And that's supposed to be the devil's tongue is what they call this plant. That's the nickname that was given to me by my daughter who's supposed to know about plants. So I could be wrong on the name of it, but all the bugs go into the top part and when they, it ends up a big bulb and you cut that and there's a bit of water and stuff in there. But anyways, it's definitely full of uh, insects that would bother your plants and then you throw that whole thing in the garbage. And what does the top look like? Does it have leaves like this? Uh, it only has... When it blossoms, oh. it really only has, uh, oh yeah, it does have leaves like that. Yeah, I've trimmed it. Yeah, it has yeah. leaves so that it come has out leaves about like this, this high. Ah. Yes, but it, it blends in quite well. And, and people have stopped and asked me, what is that, that big red thing coming out? Right. And that's it's called like the devil's tongue. tongue. Yes. <laughs> and it's, it's actually right. about uh, four, a foot and a half long, and it'll be about four inches wide. And it does attract the bugs to go there, and down they go. Ah, very good. So it's quite the thing. That's pretty cool. Now, I've got, what, about 20 plants in there? Yeah, there's quite a bit. And I... Uh, there's about six original ones, the bigger ones. Yep. And they will go a lot bigger. And I put away the part about the, um, what do you call that, that spongy stuff that I use to keep it? The uh, pool noodles. The pool noodles yep. work real good for the winter, for, for the preservation of the plant. And it's inexpensive. And you can leave them just there and you just put Wrap the noodles around it, tape it up and uh, just trim off the big top leaves wherever the however high it gets. Now, the, it looks like some of them, the new ones come right next to the old one. Yes. But some of these, do they, does it send out a shoot and then a plant? It must. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how they spread. Yeah. Or how they... Because uh, this one's far away from this. Yes. This and there used to be a couple... Well, see, there's another little one in here. Yeah. Yeah. And there used to be... Uh, I was always trying to put flowers in and stuff to make it a little more uh, attractive. And when I had lovely uh, lilies, lilies like that around, yeah. it was really nice. So again, I've been very neglectful, and I've got to get at it. You've got enough bananas in there, though, that it's it's kind of filling up the area. I wouldn't worry too much about worrying about yeah. flowers, and yeah. it, it looks it looks good. And it looks not too bad when the yeah. lady gets the grass cut. And that yeah, get the young kid to pull the weeds out. 
Yeah. Because I'm no good at bending over or picking things up anymore. No, it looks good. Uh, what other lie can I tell you? Well, we don't want any lies. We, but... I give it a light spray of water about three times a week. Yeah, that's it. The wife okay. actually just uh, watered it uh, today. Yeah. And uh, I do the backyard, she does the front yard. I put them in different places around the house. And I was told in the beginning in that book that I read, it said, try to prevent putting them in a place where it's windy. Mm. You'll get better results if you got them in some form of windbreaker, I guess, like the wall for the big one. Yeah. So. Yeah, but they, they're they doing fine. Oh, they are. They, yeah. they, they're, uh, they'll go. They'll grow at least another two feet higher, these ones. And these and are you the get ones... little plantain bananas off of them. Right. And uh, not off of everyone, but some of them, little plantain bananas. And I give them to the school kids to take to school for show and tell. <laughs> That's great. Because they always ask me, do you get bananas? I say, yeah, here. I give Super. them a little plantain banana. Great. But I'm waiting for the big one yeah. to produce. And I, I've got to wait till it gets right to the roof. Yeah. And it should. Well, that'll be a, a red letter day. Oh, it will, because yeah. that'll be like going into the jungle and really seeing how big they really are. Yeah, that's exciting. So it's quite big. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, no Ed. No problem, Janet. I'm thank you so you much for telling us all about this, this. I hope some of this information that will be of some help. Yeah. Uh, the, solar, the solar lights are mainly just for... Illuminating the area. Yes, and yeah. it works in conjunction with the... Uh, the other lights that I have around the trees, the little um, da uh, daisy lights that yeah. <laughs> What we did was we invested in some fairy lights. And they're solar powered around the back here. They're solar powered. Yeah. And it's basketed so nobody can just take it and liberate it. Same as this one here. It's, yeah. you got to look hard for it. So right. around 8 o'clock at night or when it gets dark, these light up. And with the other lights on the bench, is not. It's sort of nice. Yeah. And then I have a long one that goes along that whole hedgerow. So when I park all my cars there, it's at uh, Eliminate door level. Mm. And it annoys people. Or I mean, it, it, it uh, discourages it, people. Maybe. It discourages people from yeah. getting too close because, yes, I got a few Cadillacs. And yes, I do get a lot of looking for Yes. And, uh, well, can you blame so, them? No, I don't blame yeah, them. Yeah, look at your yard. You've well, got Cadillacs and palm trees and bananas. A lot of them, I, I've been trying to eliminate a lot of the car parts from yeah. the years of me taking them apart. Right. And I've done not too bad this year. Getting back to the plants, have you ever seen or could you name what that orange looking beautiful rose is? Couldn't tell no you. No one has, a, no one's been able to tell me exactly what kind of a rose that is. Well, maybe we'll have to add that to you, to our. Can you tell us what this is? Because <laughs> we don't know. We have I some don't know either what garden it is. experts that might have a look and be able to name it. Sure, we'll try that later. But yeah. that's uh, uh, it's beautiful. What did I? Well, they kept going around the house. And I can even show you in the backyard where I had to eliminate a few things because the kiwi fruit was going wild. It was starting to head towards the front of the house, going all the way around. And I only had the one, and you're supposed to have two. Oh. And a friend of mine used to come, we used to self-pollinate them. But then they cut his leg off, and he can't go anywhere anymore either, so he's given up on it. So I just chopped it down, but it, I didn't it's go still down growing. deep enough. It's still growing, so I might as well try and find the mail for it, or whatever it is that I need, and keep them going again. Cause well, we, we I'll talk to Anne, because uh, one of our buddies who we filmed earlier has a huge garden. She has tons of kiwis. kiwis? Yeah, we'll we'll talk to her and we'll see what. I don't what know if mine's is. a male or a female. Huh? I wouldn't know. She knows about it. I'll ask her. She yeah. just lives over here, so we'll oh. just we'll, I'll well just that's talk good to her. To know because yeah. when mine was alive and we did it the first year and and self pollinated it, I got over three hundred kiwi out of it, and they were good sized ones. Oh yeah, she keeps them right through the winter. It's amazing. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 Now, when, so we'll ask her. when you know you're in trouble with one of these and they're no good and you've got to get rid of them in the this stage, I have a little sample. Just give me a second. Oh, this no. is a sign that you get from your banana plants that it's you've got to cut it off and get rid of it because it's going nowhere. Oh. It's a leaf that either got damaged in, in maturity or it's just not getting what it's supposed to get in order to carry on. And this one, believe it or not, was on that big one. Right. Big Bertha. But all it is is just a leaf and a, with a covering, and so you just chop it, and you can look inside and see 
where it started to become a nice leaf and then bingo. So you throw that in the garbage because who knows? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Who knows what's going on with that? Yeah, we'll yep. wave hello to the happy people going oh, on. Oh, yeah, they're all happy. Yeah. But I kept that just to show you that sometimes you have to go around with your plants and assassinate them and cut the things off that are no good to benefit the rest. Right. And that's where I'm having trouble now with my grapes, which I'll show you that in the backyard. Uh, sure. How it overtakes a lot of other things. Sure. Shall we have a look at that, Ed? The house is mine. We paid for that last year. Good work. So yeah. now I just want... Now, I to apologize for the mess. We're all friends, it's okay. This is the latest <laughs> silly thing that I'm building for the wife. We have a, oh, what's that? We have a nice coffee table top inside. Oh, so right. So I just cut these and painted these. So I'll put that together so in front of our stand out yeah. here so we can have the coffee and we can have the music there and whatever. She's just keeping you out of trouble is what she's doing. She just caused me all kinds of trouble. Yeah, she's a good woman. If you need a motor, there's one under that tarp. <laughs> okay. And a transmission <laughs> and a barrel full of chrome. <laughs> And a shed wow. that needs to be blown up. Build, build your own Cadillac. Okay, so what we're growing here is we've got Granny Smith apples. Oh, yeah. And we've yeah. got plums on the other tree. Yeah. And we have this green looks like... gauge plums here. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. They are, but a lot of them have been dropping. I don't know they, why. They do that. They self-prune, eh? Because there's too yeah. many on a branch, so don't worry about it. The good now ones will stay I put a sign there. up just in case I forget who I am. What's that? I put that sign oh, up the Oh, the Widemeyers, yeah. That's when we used to come out here in Bell to have a barbecue, but you can't, you can't burn anything no, anymore. No, no. Now, here we go. Plums are starting to Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're wow. going to have a good crop this year. And I can, it's easy. Oh, and my, that's a pear tree. Yeah. And it's not a Bartlett pear. What was the name of the what other one? Well, there's an Anne Jew, and there's a Red Haven, and a Bosque. Bosque. Yeah. Any any that sound sounds familiar? familiar Bosk, yeah. 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 But it, they do they're they're good, but there's not that many this year. No. This I is know. Just it's a not memorial a... garden for uh, my wife's twin sister. Oh. So she yeah. put that together. And the worst thing in this yard is this monster here. The worst thing. The worst thing. We had some friends and relatives on our housewarming when we had the house built. Yeah. And somebody from Souk gave us this tree off the property when it was only a little thing mm -hmm. so we put up with it but look at it it is nothing but trouble eyesore and it costs me money all the time for people to clean it up oh why and i would love to get rid of it or if the wind wants to take it i'll pay for the repair on the fence oh for heaven's sakes what is it it's just a pine tree eh? it's just a pine tree but it's a pain now these are nice <laughs> these are nice and they go with the we asked, uh, the, we, asked, yeah, yeah, we asked the neighbor if he wanted to cut his off because it was over his fence. Oh, yeah. He said, no, no, we like the purple flower. No, it's beautiful. And yeah. he said, just leave it. No, that's gorgeous. Now, are any of these starting to get ripe? No. Are they getting soft? Uh, just a titch. Well, that's good because... How are yours doing, Ed? Because uh, when do you think I they'll think be ready? first of August they get ready. Yeah, yeah. I think so, too, yeah. And, and you got to get them because those raccoons will come in and just well, gobble them up, hey? That's they run along the fence line. Yeah, I know. So I was thinking of discouraging them, but not killing them, but just no. every so often put those strips that you use on carpets. Oh, yeah. To tighten the carpet against the wall oh, or something with the yeah. little prongs little, sticking yeah. up. Well, that might All work. they'd have to do is just hurt one finger and they'd turn around and go back. Well, they might, yeah. But they but love it. They come crop. along this fence line and around this one. Yeah. Yeah. No, you got a good crop. It's going to be a good year for figs. Mine's doing pretty well, yeah. too. Yeah. So that's the latest thing. Now, sure. here's the banana plant. The small one. And you have to show us your kiwi because we need to have a look oh, yeah, at that. Oh, yeah. I this? chopped this kiwi plant. Is that what that down is? Down to there. Yes. Oh, there it is. Okay. And in this last year again, see, it's gone up. As soon as it gets a lift, it's alive and well. Yeah. And uh, as soon as it gets a bit of a something to grab onto, it'll just go and keep going all the way around the house. Okay. So I should either go back in that business with these or get rid of it all together. And if that lady is that, that successful, I'm going to have to take a look and see, yeah. see what she's got there. And, uh, I'll come and get you sometime. We'll go and visit her. Yeah, How's that well, sound? be great. Okay. Yeah, that and she'll great. love you. Yeah. yeah. It'll be perfect. Okay. And did you want to show us our, your bananas There's over here? There's a banana plant around here. What the heck's this? Oh, this is the fig coming all, or pardon me, it's coming all the way over here. Is this another kiwi here? It could be. I don't know. So it is. Is yeah, it? yeah, I think so. Well, I don't even know what that is. It started to take off. Is that a grape? Uh, no, my grapes are down here. So watch you don't hurt yourself. Sure looks like a grape to me. Because yeah. I haven't had a chance to knock all these leaves off and let the sun oh, get at okay. them. Okay, here's your banana. 
This is my little banana plant, and yep. behind it was the Saskatchewan tiger lilies. Oh! And that took, believe it or not, my relative sent me Saskatchewan tiger lily bulbs. I put them in the ground, and it took two years for them to come up. Wow. Yep. That's weird. Different soil, different plant, whatever. Ah. Yeah. Huh. And it's hard to get the, the uh, Saskatchewan tiger lilies, but I love them. See? Yeah. And once in a while, oh, I'll do that, that to get them out of the way so it doesn't kill it and turn it into like that other, that other scary leaf. thing. Yeah. But they look all right. They do. You'd think it would do well here because of the white wall because of the and white everything. Wall. Well, we yeah. have the peach tree right here and it died. It, oh. it didn't die to begin with. A strong wind came and the biggest, heaviest branch that was full of oh. peaches and it broke off. Now, yeah. if you watch your hairdo. Oh, you it's can... wrecked already. Okay. Well, you're about to see. Wake up. <laughs> Ed won't be able to get the thing in here, I don't think. But oh, yeah, you got grapes back here. I've got I'm, I'm a little scared here, uh, Ed, where are you taking me? It's a tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm supposed to, this is my next project. Oh, I, I see. Thin, and thin some of these out and get rid uh, of all the leaves so that they'll mature. But yeah. some of the size of these are coming along. They are doing well. They're coming along quite well. And there is one banana plant here. Oh, I see that, right the in the sunshine. corner. Yeah. yeah. But you can see that some of them here, once they get some sunshine, yeah. they'll get a little bigger and ripen. And I just cheated and used the neighbor's fence right. for them to hang there. And of course, I give them lots when they're ripe. Sure. So they don't care. They say, yeah, just leave it. Well, you know, to, to, to all this extra growth here, that's my husband is cutting off all, a lot of ours because he says that's what he has to do is get rid of a lot of the growth to expose the, exactly. the grapes. Yeah, exactly. so they get and some again, sun. I've been behind because I've been what you call bedridden for quite a while. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, well, we're going to get you fixed See, up with some stuff from my See, buddy. Some of these, yeah. all they need is some good old oh, sunshine. Oh, yeah, they're doing great. And they'll come along because we, we water them. Do they I, have seeds in them? Uh, no. No, you can, make raisins, no. No, you can make raisins out of them if they don't have seeds. I no, that they last have year. seeds. Do they? These are uh, Concord grapes. Ah, okay. Wine-making grapes. Well, watch you don't trip on that pipe. I use that to help water, too, when Mother I don't see a pipe. Provides. Oh, that, yeah. That, and, and I usually have the other pipe. If it gets a real rainstorm, fill this up, and then I've got free Excellent. water for the winter. Yeah, you got to love that. Well, this is my aim in life. Yeah. Is to get the government to pay for everything. Yeah. Hydro to pay, <laughs> hydro to pay for my lights. My taxes aren't that bad. Yeah. And uh, I can always sell something to help pay for the taxes, but and if I can convert this junk pile into a nice garden, we could grow our own food. Well, I have a few uh, potato plants Yeah, I saw them on the side of the house over there. But it's just that I've been so neglectful. I cannot hang on to anything. You'll find grabbers all over this place that I have to use because mm -hmm. I'm forever dropping things. So yeah. unfortunately, with age and health, you've got to be in good shape to be a gardener. Well, you know, raised beds really help yes. with that. Yes, that yeah. way, yes. And uh, if you watch some of the other videos that we've posted, yes. there's a lot of raised beds and uh, folks uh, your age who are doing a lot of gardening in raised beds uh, very successfully. So it might inspire you. Well, so it's, it's, you a, never know. it's something because we don't know how this um, pandemic's going to no. go and what the cost of food's going to be and in food the future. Sec food security is uh, a huge thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I'm worried sick about the whole thing. I think we're, in to, we're going to be in a mess for a couple of years. Yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. No. So it's good to be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ed, I really like to thank you for having us here oh, and showing no us all about all. your bananas. And uh, maybe no. it'll inspire people to to give bananas a try because a lot of people like experimenting with things. I don't think Ed grows bananas, do you, Ed? That's right. It's the next thing for you, my dear. <laughs> Did you try to grow them yourself, Ed? <laughs> Good yeah. deal. Oh, I didn't wrap it up in the winter time like I should have. I guess I oh. come back, but it didn't. It didn't come well, back. maybe you can get on the begging list for a for a baby banana. Well, I'll give you a baby one when, <laughs> when it's bigger, and you can take it in a pot and and maybe for the first season have it in a basement or a shed or something like that, and then in the second season plunk it in, and if it grows real big, then put. Put that stuff in it. Can you put it in a greenhouse? Because Ed has two greenhouses. Oh, yeah, you can put it in a greenhouse. Yeah. It looks like you put um, bubble wrap around it. Uh, the you bubble wrap that? was on the, big, on the big one. I put some around the base of the big one because that's my prized possession. I was hoping to get three of them this year to go up right on the roof. Yeah. 
because it is an attraction. I mean, they got the flags flying and all that kind of craziness. Yeah. But people drop by and they see the little bananas out front and they look up and say, where in the heck did that come from? Exactly. Because I have not been able to find a store or even the Costco or that that has them for sale. And what goes nice with the two that I used to have, and I lost them because I didn't wrap them, was right behind the bench I had two red leaf banana plants. Ooh. And they're mainly for show. They don't grow no bananas, but they're beautiful. The municipalities have a few of them. Oh. And they've got them about three and four feet high. And they bring them in and look after them all winter. You know, they right. really baby them. Yeah. And then they plant them back out. They're right at intersections and stuff. Okay. Like that. Yeah, I think I, I think I've seen them. Red yeah. leaf banana. That would look and, beautiful. Uh, they, they go good with the green leaf uh, yeah. as far as show and tell. It looks good. Yeah. Awesome. Just something else. Something else is dry. Yeah, exactly. What else can I tell you around here? There's nothing. Well, I think you should. There's a room a in there. Well, I built a room inside there, and I'm afraid to go in there. The only way I go in in the mornings is throw a grenade in, and then I know I'm going to be able to make it to the you other end. You still have grenades? Uh, I'm impressed yeah. with you. Let's not talk about that. I've got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on, Ed. Yep, sorry. We just want to say goodbye and thank oh. you so much okay, no, thank for, you for uh, showing us your garden and your bananas and You're your Cadillacs. You're welcome anytime. We really and, uh, appreciate I'm it. interested in maybe uh, getting my uh, other. Kiwi fruit. I'll make back. it happen. I'll call you. Because we're, we're finished with all that other decoration yeah. and stuff. Those screens and that. I can hook it onto there and try and control it better this time. Right. Instead of them taking over and controlling me. Yeah. You're the boss. Yeah. So. Okay. Thanks, Ed. I can't sell you a little souvenir that I was going to make. I'm going to try and make all this with all the scrap lumber. <laughs> all them silly things. <laughs>